you are one of the most productive people that I know. And like every time I'm not doing something, I see one of your emails come in with the blog, you know, a blog that you posted or something you're talking about. And you're talking about all of this uh, ancillary stuff that you're doing beyond just the creating or the publication of games. How are you able to maintain this massive level of productivity? That is a great question. Um, I, I don't exactly have a mag magical answer to it, but I have some things that I do that seem to help. Um, part of it is that I, I, I set aside a lot of time to work. Um, as I'm sure you do too, a lot of people listening to this probably do that as well. I, I basically have a commitment that every day I work, uh, I wake up at seven o'clock, I go right to work because I work from home. I work for about four hours and then I work for another six hours in the, in the afternoon and then another two hours in the evening. So I have lots of time to work. Not all of it is the most, most productive or efficient time, but um, having a lot of time really does help for, for, for uh, getting things done. But also I try to structure that time so that I'm doing certain things in the morning. Um, oftentimes that they're kind of respon either responsive and reactive things or content creation. That's usually when I write uh, the blog or when I film videos in the morning. And the afternoon is spent kind of cleaning up certain things that pop up in the morning, um, dealing with things that I didn't expect, people contacting me th throughout the business day with things I didn't expect, and uh, working on project management and game development. And then the two hours I set aside at night is for game design and creative time, because I, I find that I'm the most fulfilled every day when I get a little bit of that in. I don't need a full day of that, but I need a little bit of that every day. So I don't even know if productive is the right word, but structured is maybe um, a, a, a word that I, I think about when I when I think about my day. Does any of, of that connect to, to how you structure your day or how you prioritize things? Uh, well, I find that uh, I am most happy with myself when I am most structured, but mm. uh, I find that it comes in waves because when things are going well, I always find that things that snowballs and other things start to go well and you can keep, but then as soon as something, you know, when something starts to fall apart, it's very easy to kind of snowball in the other direction and then get out of everything. And then everything starts going downhill. And yeah. you're talking about, you know, I work here at the house as well alone. And I find when you're on the downswing, that's a negative to doing the kind of things we do because there's nobody to pull it, pull yourself out, but you. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Put it. Other than the internet, which is not always a good place to turn to when you want to be pulled out of the doldrums. Yeah. Right, it's not. Okay. I, that's what I find. Uh, yeah. There may be segments of it, but generally, no.